Hi, this is Allison from Cosmetic Care. I'm an injector here, and I made a little list of what you should be doing by decade so I can break down the aging process for you and what you should be focusing on in your 20s, 30s, 40s, up to 60s. Okay, so we'll start with you 20 year olds. Congratulations, you have full cheeks and full lips and plump everything, your strong bone structure, everything looks beautiful. However, you should start preventing the aging process now. In your mid-20s, you might even start considering some Botox. You can tell if you need Botox if you're relaxed and the wrinkles are evident even in a relaxed state. That's when you wanna start. If you have deep wrinkles when you're relaxed, it's a lot harder to get rid of those wrinkles, so prevent them from even happening. Right now, you wanna be using daily sunscreen and you should really get a skincare consultation, especially with our esthetician, Jessica. She's amazing. She'll set you up for your life as you change and your hormones change. Okay, good for you guys. Next is the 30s. So this is your best womanly face. You've lost enough baby fat where you're starting to become contoured, but you're not too depleted in your fat stores that you look older and concaved. So this is the year that you wanna start your filler. You may start noticing you're aging under the eyes, getting a little hollow, looking tired, feeling like you have bags. That's a fat pad that we lose. You may start noticing it around your smile lines. That's actually cheek that we've lost. So when we replace the cheek, you get that plump 20 year old look again and you only need about one to three syringes if you start in your 30s if you wait till your 60s you're going to need a little bit more definitely want to start using neurotoxins at this time because those wrinkles will start to form and continue that great skincare regimen those uh, monthly facials that you've been doing since your 20s you might also start considering um, filling your lips this is when you notice your lips start to thin and the corners of your mouth might start to turn down at this age Okay, 40s, sorry to tell you, but early menopausal state starts at 42. So you're gonna notice these little bit of skin changes, the elasticity in your skin decreases a lot. You're definitely going to wanna fill that mid face, cheek, and start lifting that face a little bit more. Um, since you're already using great skincare, you might wanna add a product called Sculptra to your skin, it's a collagen builder. We put it back here by your jawline, we put it back here by your cheek and in your temple. This keeps your collagen production up as if you were 20 years old again, so then you can keep your face nice and pinned back without looking unnatural. It's a very natural filler. You might even wanna start in your jawline in your 40s. This is where you start to see a little bit of a jowl. It's not as aggressive as your 50s, but you might wanna start with a couple syringes here so that you're not needing a facelift later in your 50s. Okay, 50s, yay menopause. We're really starting to notice those changes. The bone loss has actually started in our mid 30s, but you're really noticing it now in your 50s. So not only are you keeping up with your cheek, your temple, your jawline, so that your face stays nice and contoured. You've already been filling your mid face, so you don't need a lot of syringes at this time if you've been keeping it up since your 30s. Um, skin care is still on point, so you already look 10 years younger than the rest of your friends. And you might want to consider some vaginal rejuvenation at this time. With menopausal changes, the vagina can lose estrogen. You get atrophy in the vagina, and it can have painful intercourse, or you can have some leaking when you cough, laugh, or sneeze with urine. So vaginal rejuvenation is a great um, choice for you. Keep up with your Sculptra, that collagen rebuilding, so that you're still building collagen as if you were 30. Um, average age for your first facelift is around 56, so you might want to start considering a little mini lift. So let's go into our 60s. You already look 20 years younger than your friends just because of your skincare regimen, your Botox, and you're keeping up with your mid face and your collagen. You may or may not want to consider a mini lift at this time. That especially helps with the neck. I didn't address the neck because neck is really hard to do with fillers. It is better honestly, in my opinion, to just go for a little mini lift with surgery if you wanna help with the neck. Also, we can fill hands at this time. You might notice that your hands have been um, decreased in fat, that your hands have been losing volume, and your wrinkles are starting to show, your veins are starting to show, so we can put a little bit of filler in your hands as well so that your face, neck, and hands all match the age that you feel. I hope this was helpful. See you soon.